हेलो डियर व्यूअर अस्सलाम वालेकुम आई एम इंजीनियर मोहम्मद रिजाउल हक वेलकम टू माय ऑटोमेशन टूल्स यूट्यूब चैनल वी नो इन वाइब्रेशन मेजरिंग सिस्टम मेंटली नेवडा 3500 सिस्टम इज मोस्ट पॉपुलर मेजरिंग सिस्टम टुडे आई विल डिस्कस हाउ टू चेंज अ डैमेज मॉड्यूल और कार्ड इन मेंटली नेवडा 3500 सिस्टम सो लेट्स स्टार्ट डियर व्यूअर I will show you that the communication gateway module of Bentley Nova 3500 system is not communicate with the third party system or third controlling system of DCS. Here you see that communication module LED is okay, but transmitting and receiving LED of communication gateway module is not blinking. For that, it cannot communicate with the DCS system. Here also see the picture that it cannot transmitting data to DCS system. Because the communication gateway module is faulty or damaged. For that, checking the status of this module first, we open the rack configuration software. Then we connect the rack configuration software with the sub, uh, with the rack system. Then we upload the program of running system. Before doing that, first I have to be tell you that if you want to change or uh, change any card or the module of battery never 350 system first we have to be bypass the combination system first you have all bypass the tipping system if you not bypass the tipping system the machine can be trip when you change the uh, any card of battery never 350 system for safety system first must you have to be for bypass the logic system then you can change or change or modify any program of the 3500 system here we see that i am uploading the program from the rack system program is uploading and upload is completed now i show the status of this module combination module right click and go to the verification and here you can see that module ok status module local status of this module is showing that not ok that means this module is faulty or damaged you see here is showing that module is not ok in this rack system here also see that once a one of the proximity module card is showing the bypass bypass also i show you what's the reason of this uh, module why it is showing the bypass for that reason i go to the uh, configuration software or uploaded program and press go to the verification of this module and you can ch check the different channel here you show the module status not showing okay it's showing that not okay that means one of this any of this channel of this module card is uh, does not getting the uh, live value from the field system for that thus this module card have showing the bypass here the module in channel number one is also getting the live value from the field system but you see that the in channel number two you see the channel number is does not getting any value from the field system it is showing that invalid that means it does not getting any live value from the field system for that reason this module has goes to the bypass mode when this channel get the live value from the field system it automatically goes to the ok mode uh, ok mode now i am changing the uh, combination card from the rack system that first uh, we open the screw and unlock the lock system and then open it from the rack now i am opening the faulty card or damaged card from the rack system you see this is the old card you see old one and here you also see the model number of this module i have to say you that if you want to change the um, any module card after opening this module card i show the status of this what is the showing in the configuration software here you see that the selected slot does not contains any card so we cannot go to the verification that means card is open now i insert the new card in the uh, in the selected slot 
you have to be remind that you have to be use the same part number or same card you have to be use the uh, use the replacement of the damaged one or faulty one now i am replacing the new card you see i am inserting and you have to be press this card in it in, in, in a short time i press and you see that the card is getting power from this uh, rack system and it will be become the ok status you see that is already get power and is blinking you ok this status and transmitter also is blinking when it is uh, the configuration ok it will be ok led will be steady and the transmitting led will be transmitting you see that ok led is steadily steady and the transmitting led is transmitting and receiving before it was key ok led is uh, blinking but transmitting and receiving led was not blinking that means that time it is not communicate but now you see that ok led is not blinking and transmitting is blinking that means this module is ok and it transmitting data to the communication system or dcs system you see now i show the status of this module after uh, inserting what's the condition of this module you see that before it was the module location it was not ok but now it is showing the ok that means key after replacing this cast it is become ok status now i now i will show what's the condition of connected uh, or inserted card that i inserted the rack system first we go to the option mode and select this card go to option and select this card and double click then we see the status of this card that already get the all con con configuration configuration data here get from the uh, program automatically go to the configuration mode here you also you can see that the all configuration data he automatically get from the uh, rack system but if we found that that it does not get any data from the uh, program then you go to download mode here we change the select the damage card only no need to select all other card select the damage card and press ok when we select and press ok this card will be automatically download to the uh, uh, cpu system and we will get the all data from the uh, it will communicate with the program system so dear friend if you like my video please subscribe my channel and press the bell icon also like comments and share thanks for watching